Science Fair 100 in 1 Electronic Project Kit. In today's project, I've built a project number 62, the Crystal Diode AM radio, which is probably the most basic, it is the most basic radio you can make. It only uses a few components. A tuner, an antenna coil, germanium diode, and a load resistor, earphones. And these are tricky to get to work because you need a powerful signal coming in on the aerial to hear anything out of here because there's no amplification given in this circuit. Literally the tuner, a diode and a resistor, there's no amplifier. So you have to have a strong signal coming in or an amplifier added onto the end of here to boost the signal because it's so weak, which is what I've done today. There's a wiring chart for it. And some text on how to set it up by putting up a, an aerial, which I've run one from the upstairs bedroom window down to the front room window and putting a ground in next to the earthing rod, the electrical earth rod at my house. So there's a description on how it works and some cartoons. Here's the actual circuit itself. How does it work? Well, the radio station you want is broadcasting on a specific frequency on AM radio. That could be between 510 kilohertz to 1600 kilohertz. So let's say it's a thousand kilohertz for the sake of argument. This wave is a thousand kilohertz frequency and trapped inside it is your music audio. And these signals are coming from the broadcasting station and hitting our aerial and pulsing this aerial at a thousand kilohertz with the audio signal trapped inside of it. It's amplitude modulation. So what's happening is the audio signal is making the wave larger and smaller depending on how loud or soft it is. But it's being pulsed in at a thousand times a second. A thousand kilohertz. So we've got our aerial and our ground set up. In the middle of it all is our detector coil and our tuner capacitor. And it's a tank circuit. The capacitor is across the coil and its output is going to this germanium diode which we'll talk about in just a second and your ground line for the load resistor 1000 kilohertz in so what we do we set the dial here so we set the resonant frequency of this tank circuit to match the 1000 kilohertz coming in sorry my phone's wobbling and so we've matched the incoming frequency to our tuner and the signal now passes to this germanium diode. The difference between a germanium diode and a silicon one is the germanium diode switch on at lower voltages, which are ideal for the weak radio signals that are coming in. So this might only be half a volt from the zero to the peaks in both directions, positive and negative. So it could be just one volt difference across there. It's tiny and only a small amount of current. So these are ideal for these applications. These handle small currents and small voltages to switch it on. So what the diode is doing basically is chopping that bottom half off the incoming signal, like that. So you're left with that wave going up and down like an audio signal. So that, that becomes zero and that's positive. And the rest chopped off by that disappears blocked as it goes, tries to go the other way, because that's resonating. And you've got a resonating signal coming in and out of there, but it's being blocked going one way and gets outputted here as the audio you want to hear. It's it by magic. So there we go. So here it is set up. Here's your tuning dial, the detector coil, an aerial from upstairs and a one going to the ground rod outside the window. Pass through our germanium diode. 
have a look at that. And quite a piece of little, nice piece of little engineering there. I think you can see that, you can actually see the point contact there. Oh, okay, you've got your cathode on the right, anode on the left. That tiny little wire in the middle is the junction between the po positive silicon, positive germanium and negative dope germanium. All encapsulated in glass, fantastic. There's a transistor and the black blobs are resistors. And that's a small capacitor. High tech for 1972. Not really. And finally, we come to our 250k load resistor where you'd put your headphones. Now, if you were parked up next to the radio station, yes, you'd hear something because the transmitter would be right next to it and be beaming a very powerful signal into your aerial. But where I live, the signals are weak coming in. So I've had to use my other kit, the Science Fair 301 kit. Make a, use one of its projects to make the power rise, the amplifier. About 700 milliwatts this. Oh, it's already tuned in, great. Let's crack that up. It's about max volume. There's only a couple of channels available Talk Sport and Radio 5 Live. This is a very basic setup, so don't expect miracles. It's all very twitchy. Depending on where you live in the world, you'll probably get different stations. Well, you will. <laughs> Let's just kill that down. You might get better responses with your kit than I am here in the northeast of England. So there you go. High frequency signals coming in. Been selected. Select the signal you want. Chop the signal in half and extract the audio. Put it through a load and have a listen. Amplify it. I think I've also got my um, key sender. Set up. Very twitchy, of course. It's the beauty of these kits. Oh, it might have just worked there before, didn't you? One twitchy thing. Well, there we go. So, there's another experiment you can do. I, any one of your kits, make a Morse code sender. The range isn't very great, about a quarter of a meter away and you start losing the signal. I'll demonstrate that now. Keep my finger on the key. So depending on where you wave the aerial, I mean, that's like, what, 15 centimeters apart from that green aerial? <laughs> you know what I mean? Rubbish. It demonstrates the principle, that's the point. It's not made to be a broadcasting station and they have to comply with radio transmission rules in whatever countries you're using these kits so they're not allowed to transmit any real distance. There we go. Well thanks for watching that, that was uh, the Science Fair 101 electronic project kit. Project 62, the crystal radio. Thanks for watching.